Number 53. From the equilibrium concentrations given, calculate the Ka for each of the weak acids and the Kb for each of the weak bases. Okay, so the first thing is, is we got to figure out, are we dealing with a weak acid or a weak base? Well, in letter B, they told us that we're starting off with ClO minus, so hypochlorite. And they told us that we have an OH minus solution, an HClO concentration, and then the ClO minus concentration. Now, here's the thing. If you make hydroxide, which is OH minus, that means that whatever you're starting with is a base. And I can clearly see that this is a base because there's no H in the front. There's no hydrogens at all, so this can't be a base. So in this case, we're going to solve for Kb because we know that the ClO minus is a weak base. Now let's write out an equation. Remember, acids and bases are always with water. So ClO minus plus H2O, weak base, so I have to use double arrows. And remember, bases gain a hydrogen. Um, the acids will lose one. So this will turn into HClO, and that's why this is here. And then it would be OH minus, and that's how you know that you're dealing with the base. Okay, so we have this, beautiful. Let's write down the numbers that they gave us. So these are all equilibrium concentrations, so that's cool. I have 4.0 times 10 to the negative fourth molarity here. I got 2.38 times 10 to the negative fourth molarity here. And on the ClO minus side, I have 0 0.273 molarity. Now the question is, well, what happened to water, right? But remember, water is a liquid. And for any K value, Ka, Kb, Kc, Kp, which we saw in last chapter, we don't include them, right? And it says down here, no liquids um, or solids allowed. This should be solid. I don't know. Oopsie. Gases are totally allowed. Solids are not. Okay. But in this case, they're all aqueous. So we are good to go. Let's write out the Kb formula. So Kb would equal, let's see, products divided by reactants, right? The same as the Kc formula that we learned last chapter. So it would be HClO times OH minus, and that would be over ClO minus. Let's plug in those values. KB equals, let's see, maybe I can, let's see if I just kind of like visualize it. I think I can get it. So HClO would be 2.38 times 10 to the negative fourth. OH minus would be 4.0 times 10 to the negative fourth. And then the ClO minus would be 0 0.273. And from there, we could find our Kb. Okay, calci out. Let's see what's going on. 2.38 times 10 to the negative fourth times 4.0 times 10 to the negative fourth, all divided by 0.273. And seems like Low sig figs is two sig figs coming from the 4.0. So I should show two sig figs. So 3.5 times 10 to the negative seventh. Very, very weak. That's a low Kb value. But there you go. Remember, Ks, uh, equilibrium constants have no units. So no units is just a number. But that's it. Let me know if this helped you out. Thank you so much for viewing the video. And I hope you're having a great day out there. Let's keep studying hard. And I'll see you in later lessons. And if you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button. That will help us out tremendously. And I thank you so much for that. See you later. Bye-bye.